Okay, we're back. Shh. Are you Shh. finished? No. Not yet. Are we live yet? Yes, we've been live since you started going shh. When are we going live? Things start. Why? Why are we? Are we, we are going live. live yet? Yeah, we're live. We are. Yes. We're... Hello, everybody. When are we going live? Now we're live. Now we're live now. Okay. Wait. 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 Are we live? Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's all roll around in the mud in the pigsty. Right. Cadence, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, we just finished the clean stream, and now we will start the, the the fun stream, the dark stream. The as you can see, Cadence is now in a cage. So, uh, Cadence. Well, yeah, give us an introduction to what this stream is going to. <laughs> now I'm in the cage. Oh, wrong. Hang on. There we go. Technical difficulties. Let us know what we have uh, get, uh, ahead of us for the next wee while here. What, what what have we got up and coming? Um. Well. Um. Yeah. I'm kinky as fuck. So. Brilliant. <laughs> And so is so that's why he's here too. Yes, we have D, we have Dave here as a translator. <laughs> I do you know what you're talking about. I'm in I don't think Rib actually knows what he let himself in for. He was like, Can I join the after party? Yeah, no bother. There's a link. Do you know what's happening? Ah, it doesn't matter. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Not to work. I was like, Yes. Uh so Dave, I know out of everybody here, you haven't shut the fuck up. We originally had this scheduled for like a week ago on the Wednesday, but then I had work and stuff and the manager took off, so I couldn't do it. So uh, Dave, I know how you being the most excited person about this stream, what have you been dying to ask Cadence? I've been dying to ask anything. I've been dying to, to find out. But, but how do you find things out? You come along and watch your channel and don't get dragged into the after party. <laughs> 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 Kids, have you always been into uh, freaky as fuck? Yes. Um, probably for about 20 years or so now. How old are you? If you... Vaguely? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Dave's 52. Yeah, Cadence has struck me as about, you know, 26, 28... Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. So, so I've been doing this for 20 years. Might be a bit dodgy. <laughs> no, I am knocking on the door of 40. Yeah, that's, that's the best <laughs> age. It's the best age. Yeah, I'm knocking on the door of 42. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to maintain this constantly. <laughs> oh, oh, no, this is the thing. Now, next year, you're 53. We're keeping this going. Oh. <laughs> and your collection as we were talking earlier you've spent two and a half years <coughs> two and a half years with your collection of curiosities how long have you been building this collection uh probably about 10 15 years <laughs> do you wash them regularly <laughs> oh yeah after every use sometimes before <laughs> And is this collection as big as the other collection or slightly larger? Um, slightly larger. It is pretty much, if you'll pardon the pun, dominated my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And the dresser and the closet. Um... Is that down to numbers or, or, or size? Um, percentage of room coverage. Percentage of room coverage. But your, cur your other curiosities take up a lot less space. Yeah. Not as fun. No. Like, when I was describing this earlier, I was getting asked, and it's like, you're doing a stream tonight, Robert? I was like, yes, I'm doing two. Having Cadence on, we're going to talk about it. I was telling this to the fucking BT engineer because he's seen the setup when he was setting it up. And I was like, oh, YouTube channel and all. And he was like, are you in any rush tonight to get it? I was like, yeah, I don't know, I have an interview at 10 o'clock. And he was like, all oh, right, you interview people. I was like, yeah, got Cadence on. We're going to talk about fossils and cars and stuff. This, you know, cool girl talking to her and all that there. And then we usually have an after party. What are you doing the after party? Well, tonight's after party is about Cadence with shoes that she showed me. And when I asked her how she walks in them, she goes, on your knees. The, the BT engineer just sort of was like, I'm going to go back to the wall here. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, yeah. do you have shoes to hand? What's that? Do you have your shoes to hand? I do not. They are still in the closet. What do you have to hand? I've actually got another pair on the way too. <laughs> <laughs> What's um, the difference? The neat pair is a pair of uh, pony boots. But I've got um, one, two, three, four, four or five different sets of ballet boots with the heels. Mm -hmm. How long can you stand to stay? How long can you stay in them? How long can I stay in them, or how long can I walk in them? How long you walk? Because <laughs> I can barely walk in them. That's you barely walk in them. That's not what they're meant for. <laughs> But you know, I've I've worn them for a day before. Very interesting days. <laughs> Have you got a you know a favorite? Yes. <laughs> Is it this big? <laughs> um. Well, favorite what? Let me rephrase that. Well, <laughs> well okay. No no no, 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 no. What did your mind go to when you answered yes? Favorite pair of boots, because that's what we're just talking about. Fair enough. <laughs> What's your favorite pair of boots first, then? Um, I've got a pair of ballet trainers that uh, zip up and lock. And they're really comfortable, because I've put a pair of insoles into them. You can't walk in them, but they're comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but normally when you describe shoes comfort you you describe comfortable walking in them yeah no these just fit comfortably walking's a whole different story <laughs> uh, how often do you find yourself wearing those sorts of shoes whenever Whenever the mood strikes, or whenever I lose a bet between one of my friends and she makes me. <laughs> and she's in the chat, so she knows. I'm calling you out, Vanta. Vanta Blue was in there. Uh, I invited Vanta Blue into one of my Discords, and uh, Jupiter was in there the other day. And Jupiter was like, Who the fuck are you? And she was like, Somebody that just amused Math Pig one night. I got in. Vanta's uh, <laughs> <laughs> How do you know Vanta Blue? We go way back. Um, she's she's basically she's my best friend and pretty much my partner. Where is she? I don't know if she'll let me say. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask her. Where are you? <laughs> And tries to look innocent. Yeah, I was just about to say, yeah, no, no. If your cadence is partner, cadence is in a cage. Cadence, how many cages do you have? Three. You have three yeah. cages. Do you have a small, medium, and large, or do you have a... Technically, I have a small, a large, and a heavy duty. Small, <laughs> a large, and a heavy duty. How big's the heavy duty? I was heavy looking more at fucking Rib's face. Rib's eyes just went, heavy duty? <laughs> It's just like, what does that entail? Oh. What is the details that makes it a heavy duty one? Oh, is one of the thoughts that were going on in my head at that moment? The large <laughs> one, yeah, a forty-eight inch, like a doll kennel. The heavy duty is smaller, but it's got bars like the cage that you see in my background, as opposed to a, a steel mesh. It's you're not getting out of it. You're not getting out of it, fucking, uh, what do you call them, uh, Houdini style stuff. But now, you, yeah, you, but for different purposes though, right? No, you'd need bolt cutters or a, uh, an angle grinder to get out. <laughs> I, again, Steven's face, this is just hilarious. <laughs> Man, are you there? Have you anything you'd like to ask? Oh, well, my Wi-Fi is being all fucky, so... Um, yeah, I'm doing the best I can, sorry. No, you're grand, you're grand. I, I know you and Caden say, uh, she she didn't even mention yourself, you know, about coming into the family and becoming friends with, you know, with, with, with people here. And uh, yeah, even the avatars know them, you know. I, what is the kinkiest thing that you and Cadence <laughs> have ever talked about? 
Mm-hmm. Um, tying the, the ways to tie wrists or wrists and, and ankle restraints, I guess, and a little bit of cages and spanking. Do you have like, rope cadence? Do you have warm. straps or do you have handcuffs? Or yes. Do you... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's, there's a follow on question to that. How many things have you gotten out of that you weren't supposed to? <laughs> hmm. That's that's a surprisingly high number. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think there's also someone who's going to verify your answer. Yeah. Um, I've, I've surprised her a few times. It's... Um, let me see. I'm tracking my train of thought. I'm just looking at the chat. Dave didn't come up with that question himself. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's a reason there's a lot more stricter stuff in my collection because some of the simple stuff, yeah. If it's not locked, I'm an escape artist. I like to try. <laughs> I don't like to get out, but I like to try to get out. If that makes any sense. No, 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 no. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jenny says, Cadence, are your ballet boots the lockable type? Two of them. Her favorite pair is. One has a lockable zipper, and the other has actual um, D rings for locking the straps closed. Mm. So, yes. Can you show us any of your cages? (laughs) No. 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 We've seen them. That's okay. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> some of us have, some of us haven't, and some of us are yeah. afraid. <laughs> you them? Okay. Have you any questions, Stephen, that you, you, you've you been rubbing your hands there for, you know, it's like, mm, mm. No, no, it's not that. It's just kind of, you know, when you would ask, you know, because oh, I, I only say this because you made reference to it twice, but um, when you asked the question about some of the stuff that um, Candace and Manda have talked about, I just saw the hope, <laughs> I just saw the look of just hope in your eyes, uh, Math Pig, of just like, this is, you know what I mean? Just like, make it be something good. So I can do <laughs> well, seeing as you don't know, you know, you didn't know what you were happening yeah. or walking into, we, you know, you, we, vanilla, not vanilla. Oh, no, not at all. Mm. Who, Steven? Mm, no, not at all. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it would be maybe less... I don't know if there would be cages involved in some of the stuff that I'm doing, but you know, a cage is an investment. Either. In all seriousness, like a cage is a is an investment, you know. Yeah. Well, there's no, you know, there's no straight line to uh, everybody's, you know, kink and sexuality. It, it doesn't have to be cages. It could be spanking benches. It can be, you know, anything. So ring on the ceiling. These are, are cadences thing. You know what did you buy Dave for Christmas? Manda? Benches or Dave thing. What what did you buy Dave for Christmas, Manda? Do you know what Manda um, bought Dave uh, for Christmas, tea Stephen? Tea no. I got him a tea set. A tea uh, set? You no, you didn't. <laughs> I think Dave is a pitcher. <laughs> it was a Trump pacifier. <laughs> yeah. It was a dildo works. ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Stephen's uh, face well, is priceless. Stephen's face is just making this stream. <laughs> this is what he gets for not paying attention to Twitter. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, okay. see? I'm see on Twitter more. Jet Black is with us. We had a, a, we had a lovely little game of, of um, tell us what this is, wrong answers only. That was fun. So, oh, all right. Okay. That was where the Trump pacifier thing came up. The funny, from. Th- well, okay. the, the funny, not so funny thing is, it's not like Mom depicted. Right? She went to Dave's wish list. Yeah, but she added yeah. half the things on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, but it was <laughs> you for my wish list. Except it wasn't okay. half; it was most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get everything on that wish list? Oh, Stephen, are you actually... What? Did you get everything on that wish list? I think there was two things she didn't On do. my wish list? Yeah. No. What didn't uh, you get from no. the list? No, there's some stuff. 
what didn't I get? Yeah. A machine gun dildo? <laughs> That's one thing I could think of. <laughs> well, my mother's in the chat. That was so definitely this is your pick. So. <laughs> my mother has decided to, to turn I up said it chat. was Dave's pick. Oh. So. Of oh. all well, there you go, uh, Caden. She have scared <laughs> off my mother. My <laughs> mother is bye. too old for this, so she's away to bed. Bye, mom. <laughs> Good night. Well, it's also pretty fucking. It's eleven thirty, so you know. There's that as well. But anyway, so <laughs> what is your your uh, age then, Stephen? What do you mean? What is my or your I, version I of the cage? <clears throat> I mean, what? I don't, no, no, it's, it's like that. You fucking joined this man. You were dying. You were whinging for a link. <laughs> all right? You fucking wanted to be whinging. here. I was not whinging. I just asked if I could. No, but I mean, like, I don't, like. <laughs> I don't know if I understand the question. It's like, I, like. Man is asking you what your kink is. What turns you on in bed? That's basically what she's asking me. Putting you on the spot. It's sort of, yeah. Yeah, you are. Um, I'm, not I mean, <laughs> I'm just, to be totally honest with you, I'm trying to work out whether or not my mother has gone to bed because if she hasn't, she's only in the, the next room and I don't necessarily yeah, know. My, that that in the chat. my mother's fucking watching this shit. All right. So you, haven't had to, you haven't had to admit anything yet. I mean, I, I don't know. I like, I'm. I'm extremely dominant. Your I like mom to sign. left. I like to do all of that sort of stuff. So like, I, yeah. That's like, all right. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't say there was anything wrong with this. <laughs> Just that I wasn't especially crazy about my mother hearing that. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom now knows that you're in the spanking. So does that make you feel any better? <laughs> Not at all. I don't even remember the slightest bit. Oh. She'll come with you to see the comedy. And she'll be happy. That's all she'll be able to think about. It. Hmm? What was that, Dave? I said she'll she'll come down with you to see how to see uh, ribs comedy, and that's all she'll be able to think about while go. watching. <laughs> Designated driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your mother pretended to leave so she could spy because she's still she's like night I'm out, and then she's still in the chat. Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, what are your kinks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> see, it's different. No, no. That. What? It's a sure show. You can't bounce. I know the internet cut out. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to say, I mean, like, I can see it. it to it, I mean, we could just. Like, we could just ask Manda. So, I mean, like, I don't know why you're kind of ducking out. <laughs> oh. and not in the but. Well, okay, so there is this old Coke bottle, okay? Now, it puts these, <laughs> these little marbles in it, okay? And it makes this noise. I'm sorry. I'll just... What? What? Yeah. What? what? I'm talking about your kink, honey. Oh, no, I was talking about the rolling action motion. The rolling motion action it's thing. The rolling motion thing. There you go, the rolling motion thing. Like. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. No, it's a secret. <laughs> My, I mean, I could demonstrate. You your know. your kinks would be far more interesting, Dave. I think your collection is coming up on the size of uh, Cadence's, if not slightly larger. Would I not be correct in saying that? No, 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 no. <laughs> Bullshit. We have no, no comparison. The the things I have compared with Cadence uh, do do not only cover a small subset of one collection of one part of a collection, and she blows mine away. <laughs> For anyone who knows Dave, that kids must be really kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything, Cadence, that you and Dave uh, share in equipment? And I'm not just saying handcuffs or this, that, or all. Is there one thing that's slightly specialized that both you and Dave either have or you have that he wants or he has that you want or well the photo in question is uh plugs a photo? In... <laughs> no. um he wanted to see my collection of certain things so I showed him the picture 
and you scared him. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised I have to go wide, uh, uh, wide photo, wide angle lens to, to capture it all, but I managed. So the question would be, Dave, what in Cadence's collection tricked your interest, piqued your interest? Was there something you seen and you went, didn't know what that was about? What's that there? She mentioned something in the chat. You need to narrow it down a bit more than that. Oh, not a chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you joined this stream too and you joined willing. I joined willing. See, 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 here's the thing, right? I'm very good at being evasive so that no one actually knows what my kinks are. This, this, it, it, it's driven man to nuts before. <laughs> and I know what one of those are. Oh, you do know what one of those are. <laughs> oh, that is not really fair. <laughs> so much of Dave's shit, and I don't even get to know one of them, but Cadence does. That's not fair at all. That's probably because it's that scary for normal people, and Cadence is like, nah, I did that like six years ago. Catch the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, or like, hey, I'm, I'm into this too, and I was like, oh, let me show you my collection, and then poof, put it <laughs> on. I know, just poof. <laughs> Vanta Blue says, "Do I need to start rattling off things I know Cadence has, so we can see what Dave reacts yeah. to?" Yeah, Vanta, there's sure. a slot here. Come on, Vanta, you should be jumping in here. <laughs> All right, come on, this would definitely be fun to get Vanta in here to to lead the conversation ever so slightly. Yeah. Vanta. <laughs> half of my collection too pardon I've, <laughs> vent has only seen half of my collection because i've gotten a lot recently in the last year with the whole pandemic thing she hadn't been able to visit but hmm. well, there's so many people that like it you know every every fourth or fifth conversation is like as soon as this plague is over i can't wait to come you know travel x y and z to get to see each other and everybody wants to give each other a big hug it's hard mm. who are you other than vanta cadence who are you most looking forward to to uh breaking the the quarantine for once it's over to to step down from the kinky aspect of it i actually need to go visit my parents my mom and dad mm -hmm. um this is the first year my dad's retired um, and my mom's been going through a lot of surgery and this will be her first holiday where she's not doing anything, where she can't do anything. Yeah. So as soon as that's over, um, yeah, um, they're only an hour and a half away from me, but as soon as I can, and I know she's healthy and recovered. I'm going down there. Yeah. Uh, Dave, how about you? Uh, my daughter. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, you, haven't, you haven't seen her at all, have you? I haven't seen her since Christmas. Oh, that's a year nearly. Wow, man. Horrible. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I know two weeks kills me. Uh, what about you, Stephen? Um, I mean, I guess I mean like somewhat of like a... I wouldn't even really call it privilege, but I mean like, you know... I still live at home, like with with like mom, so I see her every day. You know, um, I do like errands for my my nan like regularly. Um, most of my like kind of close friends I'm working with, and so you know, I I see them a few times a week. So, I guess like the whole kind of like isolation because of COVID and not seeing everybody that you're you're like kind of used to seeing that just hasn't kind of a, you know hit me in the same way that it's hit a lot of other people. Um. So yeah, I'm very kind of fortunate in that in that aspect. And considering that uh, Ireland had at one stage a three mile and a five mile from your home rule, like you couldn't yeah, go yeah. further than three <clears throat> mile from your house. That's yeah. I mean, I've been threatened that someone's going to come visit me, so I'm not a hundred percent certain I want it to end. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, sure, the, the, the first lockdown that Ireland had, like, what was it, like, two months? Yeah, that was kind of, you know, like, pretty shit because, like, yeah, like, you didn't really kind of see anybody during then. Like, you didn't really see any of your friends or whatever. But, I mean, like, ever since then, 
since like June, we'll say. Yeah, it's it's just been you know it's like I've been kind of seeing everybody. So, Banta, thank you very much for joining. Kids, you're fucking. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So seeing as, uh, thank you very much, uh, Vanta, for joining. Seeing as we don't know all of Cadence's collection, and she seems to be very shy, is there anything that you would like to share with the group? Oh, how mean should I be? Oh, be very mean. It's an, you know, <laughs> come on now. It's a stream about BDSM and all the rest of it. There's kids. Okay, people. yeah. Fair enough, then. Um, I won't go into specifics, but uh, I will add chastity devices. Yeah, I've got a few of those. Did you say chastity? No, chastity, like, yeah. I might have one or two of those. What do you think, okay. Dave? What do you think, Dave? <laughs> Does He's Dave know? He's silent. <laughs> <laughs> Dave? <laughs> hmm? No. Nothing. I don't say anything. Sound fun? Right, right. Kids, do you want to elaborate and let the audience know what that would involve or what it is? No, I'd like to see everybody's Google uh, Google history after th this stream. <laughs> oh yeah, that... <laughs> I endorse this this decision. Yeah, Benton knows what one of my favorite things is though. Hmm? Say again? Pardon? Said, Vanta knows what one of my favorite things is, though. Um, What's that? My my largest collection of stuff. Stuff. Yep. And things. What's that? What would that be, Vanta? Stuff you can't talk with. Mm -hmm. uh, similar to the biggest games. collection I know of is uh, a very nice collection of gags of different kinds. <laughs> your favorite type of gag? Yes. Bob no, gag. Yes. Fucking sure as I do. I'll fucking tell you what. <laughs> Wait. So what are the different? There. Uh, okay. Other than like ball gags and and like scarves or something. Bits. What type of gags are there? There's lots and lots. <laughs> uh, ball gags, uh, ring gags, open open mouth gags. Dental. Wait. What's the what's the yeah. ring gag? Um, Very literal. It's a ring that goes oh, ring. between I your teeth. Oh, ring. I thought it was rain. No, no, ring. So. Gag. Yeah, I heard yeah. rain. Uh, oh, clouds. Uh, I like my, my southern accent, which probably hasn't been coming out very much. <laughs> yeah, then there's stuff like oh, bit gags, which are similar to what you'd see, what the basis is in horses, uh, that, that kind of bit. Mm. And you yeah. have, uh, for those that like that kind of thing, there are penis gags as well. Um, hmm. There are what's called a spider gag or medical gag, which uh, forces your mouth open from the outside, basically. Which I don't have and I don't really care for. Uh, ditto. Uh, they show a lot of gum. Do what? Are those the ones that show a lot of gums? Yes. They can do, depends on how it's set up, yeah. So that's a lot of different gags. And there's a subspecies, so to speak, of the normal ball gag as well, which is called the Whiffler gag, I believe, which is basically a ball gag with holes through it. It costs a lot more drooling. Yeah, all, the, all the really cheap ones with the holes in it, that's what those are. Yeah. And they break easily. Oh, yeah. Right. They break no. easily, or uh, for most people, they don't. And Cadence has a heavy duty cage. <laughs> uh, they break easily because, usually, to be somewhat functional, they need to be rigid. And that means that you usually use materials that still somewhat kind to the teeth, but still need to be rather thin. So, if you bite down even slightly enough, it, they're going to break, they're going to shatter. Yeah. Oof. I much prefer the uh, silicone ones. Yeah. Hmm. Not necessarily. Cool. Rubber rubber has a taste. Silicone doesn't. Do you prefer the breathable ball gag? The what? Breathable ones. Which, what kind? I think there's a few. Of the, of the normal ball gag. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're plastic and they got all the holes in them, like a wiffle ball. But No, no, not like a wiffle ball. They, they, they still look kind of solid, maybe slightly spongy, but not. they're not spongy, they're, they're solid. But you can breathe through them. I think I know what, kind of what you're talking about. I don't think I have any like that. Actually, I know I don't have any like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to think about it. I've only got 30 or 40 different ones. Something like that. Wait, what? You have Which... 40 gags? Really? Yeah, I've been mind? looking at the chat and I heard that too and I'm just looking back and like, what? <laughs> so we can't think about right? anything. Or maybe What's like I My favorite what? is a uh, 60 millimeter silicone with a leather strap. Honestly, That's simple right. enough, but very effective. Yeah, a 60 millimeter ball. That's the diameter, by the way. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Dave's got a nice little connect collection. I don't know about his gags, but there are other things that he has a lot of. I've got nothing. Uh -huh. Nothing. <laughs> what do you use your... I've got, uh... I've got three gags. I'm not fault. <laughs> I'm not talking about... I said a, 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 you have your own collection of something else. You know, what you, you use the uh, the box we got you for your birthday to, to store. Well, not really, because they don't fit. Oh, big but... enough. Too small of a box. Yeah. <laughs> Eat it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to elaborate, Dave? No, the, the butt plug box. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dave does like his butt plugs, so yeah, there's that. I may have a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> my tail. That's it. Mom just spends more time playing with the fluffy bit, though. It's like, it's just so soft. I don't care about the rest of it. This is so it soft. It is. That's, I don't care about the butt plug itself. I just like the fluffy tail. <laughs> <That's all>. <laughs> <laughs> You're only allowed to play with it when it's in use. I haven't in used it yet, though. So. Why not? I don't know. I've never used the butt plug before. So. Just pop it in and pet it. Yeah, but the, you know, <laughs> what fun is it to play with it alone? Though it's not like Robbie's here. So I don't know. She's Robbie getting all fours, but she's got a bad back. Right? <laughs> Actually, no, it's a bad <laughs> knees. Back, so you know, so it is what it is. <laughs> so. Uh, Vanta, right? Yep. Oh, okay. I don't think we've met, uh, you know, on a I don't think like this at least. We've spoken sometimes yeah. in other streams, but... How are, uh, oh, yeah. it's nice, nice of you to be here. Uh, what is the thing that you adore most about Cadence? Yeah, man. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's such an easy question to answer as well. Uh, Welcome to Dave's world. Dave does this shit on me all the fucking time on his quizzes. It's like, what's the worst thing about someone you've ever dated in this last six months? It's like, oh thanks, yeah, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> oh, it's hard to pinpoint just one thing because it's for me, it's more the uh, the whole person. Uh, it's just you know, one aspect that it's the best part. It's hard to say it's one single thing for me. I have a question. Now, obviously, Cadence is 30 gags, okay? I've been doing this collection for 20 years. <laughs> uh, were, were you as kinky whenever you met Cadence? Or has Cadence opened your eyes or opened your mind, so to speak, to uh, newer enjoyments? As in, is it Cadence that's corrupted you or you that's corrupted Cadence? Uh, honestly, I'm way kinkier than Cadence is. <laughs> really? Uh, and honestly, for me, it started back the, the first time I honestly experimented with it in my old way back, way back when I was seven years old. So it's ingrained in me. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I started early. Okay, I guess so. For me, it. it, it you have to make a disconnect between kink and sex uh, because they are not the same. Uh, yeah. 
So the kink in itself has been something I've been aware of in myself for, well, now it's like 30 years. So it's just normal for me. <laughs> sexual awakening came a, a lot later. But it's part of your everyday life, though. You you, you know, it's not. W would it be something that, you know, is it is it designated just to the bedroom and that's it? So many times and hours a week or whatever and all the rest of it. Or you actually live it being in that, you know, from an age of seven. <sighs> that I haven't been able to do. Uh, but I've been aware of my kinks for like a long, long, long time. And uh, if I was able to live it properly, I would, mm. in, to some degree at least. But it's hard to, uh, I don't know, do it when you're all alone and have almost no privacy. So. But people, you know, it's not like you could walk up the street naked or anything like that, or wear whatever you want exactly. to walk up the street and things like that. There, because people do judge. Like, you know, I, I'm completely comfortable. Yeah. And I've said to, to, you know, people who I wear clothes because you fucking have to. I walk about; it doesn't bother me. You know, and, and there's a difference between being naked and and sex and just being naked, getting in and out of the shower and stuff. You know, absolutely. Yeah. Um, where do you come, uh, subby, dom, switch? Who are you asking? Both of you. But oh, I already right. know you're on. <laughs> did Cadence's avatar just do this with the slips? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Motion capture. I need to calibrate it every now and again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Cadence? Yes. Actually, I'm a switch with more of a subby side than anything. Vantage? And I'll, I'll add just about the same, honestly. Yeah, we, me and her, we balance each other out. Usually, usually our moods flip flop. Yeah. Usually, not always, but <laughs> usually. Yeah. Uh, I'm more of a cuddle slot, though. That, that I will admit. <laughs> a cuddle slot. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> well, who isn't? I guess. Well, no, there's some people that that, that hate that shit. No. Yeah, I mean, I, some it. people that are like, "Don't fucking touch me." But mm. that's, I think that's one of the hardest things about uh, being in a long distance relationship. Not even the, it, it, you know, the sex itself. Just not being able to to cuddle at the end of a long day. So yeah, yeah. yeah I have uh, the worst thing for me was uh, as this shit with the Corona stuff started up, I had a trip planned for like in may mm. and i booked the tickets in uh, early january and we re basically realized in february that this might not go away that quickly so uh, we haven't met each other since i think it's august last year something that's, like that that sounds about right so it's been a long time and it's uh, it's not fun no i have a running joke with the uh... Amanda, that I'm going to smell her heart. Smell her hair like Joe Biden at a fundraiser. <laughs> mm. yeah. Well, so when Quentin came in and uh, stopped by, you were like, you know, just tell me what she smells like. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You wanted, you said you wanted to, though. I uh, well, was not be nice to know. You it's, it's, it's the small things, though. It's the small things. things. Yeah. Oh, I get that. I mean, everybody has their own scent, and you know, they, <clears throat> I used to um, would keep Angel's pillow uh, when he would, because he would come visit. When he would come here uh, for a few weeks during the summer to to visit my parents when we were still living in Arizona. So I would, you know, during the day, I would keep his pillow next to me so I could. Well, I get that. Uh, when Cadence misbehaves, what from the, from <laughs> from where you are, what are you most likely to make her do? Uh, not going to bondage. <laughs> yeah, that's <a> torture. <laughs> that, that, that's the uh, best punishment I can give for bit of um, doing any sort of bondage. Not not being allowed to touch my toys for an entire weekend is fucking torture. <laughs> <laughs> do you listen? Or do... 
yes. <laughs> On the protest. I am required to say yes. I am required to say yes. Vantas came to see you, see you and you went to see them or whatever back and forth and stuff like that either in each other's house have you ever went away on holiday together and we haven't had a chance uh see, that's what I'm not yet say. at least you know it's like one suitcase for cadence one suitcase for vanta and four suitcases for the sex weekend <laughs> <sighs> <That's> maybe six <laughs> See, we have to drive now. Now Robbie knows why I have an F two fifty. I understand. Yeah. Uh, what does Vanta not know that you've got? Oh, this is an interesting one. Yeah, you said that uh, you'd got lots of stuff mm. that they hadn't seen since. Uh... You, you usually show me pictures, Lee. So that, that this this is an interesting one. Yeah, I, I usually show pictures. What do I have that you don't know? Oh, uh, I don't, I don't think there's anything. I think I've shown it all off. Yeah, I think so too. I, I, you usually show off new, uh, fun stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Look what I got, look what I got. Yep. <laughs> like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Do you have anything that Cadence doesn't know about? Oh, good question. No, I don't think so. I, I don't. I have lived on a kind of sparse uh, salary for a long while, so I haven't been able to actually buy stuff that is good and useful. But I have shown <laughs> off everything I have, I think, at one point or another. Yeah. Uh, and I've got some of your stuff here too, so. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff I bought for myself, I have sent, I made, made sure they were sent to Cadence instead of bringing them back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because it's just silly. Would you prefer to go there, or would you prefer her to come to you? It's honestly easier for me to go to her. Um, partly because of the fact that I have 25 vacation days a year. Uh, so I, ha I have an easy time of going for that for that sake. And uh, she lives in a house, I live in a small fucking flat. Yeah. You can, uh, make, you can make a lot more noise there. Yeah. Uh, here, I really can't make noise talking as loud as I do is bad enough because well the the walls aren't that thick. Now I see Caden said uh, typing in the chat about public humiliation and public and stuff like that there. I, I'd need to look into the nuances so don't quote me exactly on this but I think a few years ago uh, Amsterdam uh, made it legal to have sex in the public parks after a certain time of day and after a certain time and if you're respectful and stuff like that and it's very open and uh, you know, it's a different sort of attitude in Amsterdam. If anybody here has been, you know, it's a very open and free city, red light district and things like that. Do you think America could benefit from more of an openness? Have you have you seen most Americans? <laughs> I'm saying could they benefit from it? You know? you know, I'm trying to be smart sounding here. Fair I'm trying point. to sound smart, Cadence, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I do think that the U.S. needs to take a look at itself, how it uh, acts around sex. Uh, yeah, it's broken. yeah, the U.S. needs to lighten the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, partly that, and partly like, you have sex scenes in almost every single Hollywood movie. Every okay, if, hmm? yeah, to, to some degree, you have uh, either it's uh, like heavy make heavy make out, or they straight up do stuff. In, Oh, in very many movies but what's actually allowed to do in public and how people talk about it is so far off from that it's so very much censorship about sex overall in the US I find it very odd actually we watched some of the um, most of celebrities and it's really weird that almost all of them are jokes about the person being gay when they're not. Yeah. Oh, I find that really weird. It's, it's this very childish view of sex. Yeah. Especially the older the movie is. They do that a lot. Mm. Mm. But I don't think, the problem is, I don't think you're going to fix it until you can get rid of some of the Christians, or at least some of the Christian attitudes. <laughs> yeah. Which is oddly yeah. enough, 
the, this entire both the, both of these streams, we haven't asked Cadence about her religious <laughs> religious point. Yeah. What Wait, religious points? Religious points. <laughs> Well, normally you ask how they got out of religion. Were they in religion? Oh, I won't. <laughs> then you ask them, Dave. Ask them the questions. <laughs> Cadence! Yes. You're a just... No. I used to Never? be. Used to said. Um, uh, I grew up... Well, I grew up in Louisiana, which is <laughs> south, south. Um, so what sort of religious way? I was Southern Baptist growing up. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't you know... Do what have, you have dinosaur fossils that are only 6,000 years old. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd never believed that the Earth was only 6,000 years old. Were you taught that? No. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah. There are Southern Baptists that let, that let you learn that... <laughs> I thought, I thought pretty much all Southern Baptists were very much heavy on the younger. No. No? That's my bad. <laughs> I mean, they're not the most progressive of, um, yeah. you know. To be honest with you, whatever. But... While, I was, while I was growing up, I've seen, you know, the different Baptist, um, different Baptist churches, Catholic churches. Um, I had a girlfriend who was Episcopalian um, and I've been to those services and it all looked like the same mm. shit. You just did different routines. You did different exercise routines in the pews. There's a different level of stand up, sit down, kneel, stand up, pray, sit down, stand up, go to the we center. We were a joke over here if you go to a fucking Catholic chapel. It's like, how do you know when to stand up and sit down? Look at anybody over 70. Just watch what they do. <laughs> So how did you? When did you decide that? Uh, did you decide there was no God? You must have done. You followed no. GE. <laughs> that was a long time ago. It's kind of a roller coaster ride, actually. Um, church, I never really took seriously, uh, even when I was little. I was like, I was Christian because Christian was just the thing. It was the culture. So, um, usually if somebody said, Hey, do you believe in God? I'd say yes. And then I'd pray and do all the normal shit like that. Um, I never really took it seriously unless I was in like a crisis situation, like extreme depression or anything along those lines. That's usually whenever I quote unquote found God. Um, and that's happened a few times in my life, but, uh, I never took religion seriously since I was a teenager. Did you discover your first? Uh, probably, yeah. Um, I think I discovered the kink when I was an early teenager. Oh. I've just never really been able to act on it until like later. Because you know, southern Louisiana, out in the middle of the out in the middle of the sticks, not a whole lot of. Um, you know, I grew up when the internet was still young, so. You have these ideas, and then that's it. Like you, you said, um, you know, since you've taken religion seriously, how how serious were you um, up until the point that you converted? Hmm. That's for you, Kings. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just thinking because I never really regularly went to church. Um, like it was one of those, my parents always dragged me and then mm -hmm. once, once, um, actually we, we pretty much stopped whenever the church changed pastors and then my mom hated the new pastor mm -hmm. <laughs> at that point, seriously, at that point, she never went to church. So I never went to church. So I never explored anything further than that, but I still claimed it. Mm -hmm. um, military, my non-denominational Christian. Um, and that was just because I didn't know or care. But I grew up Christian, so I just threw it on there. Hmm. But I think the, the, whenever I started discovering that religion wasn't my thing, um, it was whenever I started discovering, like, after I got in the military, you start meeting all kinds of people. And you start meeting, you know, 
Catholics and pagans and Buddhists and all kinds of different people like that. And I started thinking, it's like, why is it all, you know, what's, what's with all these different religions? How do you, how do you get a religion like that? So I started, you know, reading the books, reading the literature, um, you know, I, uh, just, you know, researching and trying to figure it out. And whenever I did that, I noticed it's all about the culture. Usually where you grew up influences what kind of religion you are. Like I was Southern Baptist because I'm in the middle of Louisiana. Um, a lot of the Catholics around here is the same thing, even though, mm -hmm. you know, the Vatican's in Rome, um, Catholicism is all the way down here, mm -hmm. which was another, that was another rabbit hole I had to get into. But you don't really see many pagans in Louisiana. And you could think, once you think about it, a lot of the pagans, um, like the history of paganism is stuff like Greek and Roman and, and a lot of Norse mythology and stuff like that. And that's all centralized in, in Europe. There's no real um, American pagan, like prior. And, you know, the Native Americans have their own thing, and everything like that. So whenever I started going down those rabbit holes, I'm like, you know, this is all bullshit. And at that point, I was like, I don't, I claimed I wasn't religious, but I didn't really know the atheist term until mm -hmm. probably like uh, 10 years ago, yeah. something like that. And I never really claimed I was an atheist until about five years ago or so. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a specific term that, uh, yeah, no, I totally understand where you're coming from. One thing I wanted to ask on that topic is we're talking back and forth with the Christianity and the statistics to show that, you know, a lot of people in the South watch their porn, they're all in mainly christian and all that there yeah you know but I mean, did you a lot of people wait wait wait, wait, wait. there's, there's a, an interesting statement a lot of people in the south watch their porn nobody else does though no but i think so, the statistics show that no i'm just kidding it was just a funny statement that's all go yeah, ahead honey but what i'm trying to say is uh did you fa you know i find in the atheist community here and what we're talking about in the skeptic community whatever the fuck umbrella term you want to come across you know the fact that we've left religion the fact that we're more or open-minded to these things you find a lot more kinky fuckers over here than you do in sunday church oh yeah definitely you know um, did you find yourself finding yeah. yourself so to speak as you were leaving religion or were you kinky as fuck before that and you were one of them fuckers that watched all the porn didn't tell anyone um Honestly, religion had a lot of influence on it. Yeah. Because you, it's kind of hard to put into words. It's like the the more and more I thought religion was bullshit, the more and more my mind got open, and the more and more yeah. I got kinky, and it started going in that direction. You were down that <laughs> rabbit hole, and you ended up in the gutter. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. Those are not usually connected, but okay. Yeah. So now, now my own personal throne in hell has D rings attached to it <laughs> with electrodes. <laughs> uh, Julie says Utah watches more porn than any other state, and never again says there's a lot more BDSM in the South than one would think to from her experience. Oh yeah, there's a lot of closet kinky motherfuckers down here. The picture that I used for tonight's thumbnail was from idaho or something i can't remember maybe it might have been ohio wherever the fuck it was anyway but it was a front page thing of a news article and it was like this dungeon is in such and such as lovely lovely little house in the suburbs that nobody knows about check out the basement this is the actual thumbnail from this so i, I can see where you're coming from i understand where you're coming from mm -hmm. would you like or have you any plans to have a full-blown... Now, as I know you said, that your stuff takes up an awful lot of your bedroom. But have you dis is there ideas of a dungeon? You know, are you having a designated area? Just This is the bedroom and I sleep there, but I have fun in here. There are plans, but nothing I can do with the, the current house that I've got. Um, mainly because, I don't know if you know, but like down in the south, the, the water table is very high up, so nobody has basements. Mm -hmm. So I can't have a, ba a dungeon in the basement as much as I want one. Yeah, no basements over here. Yeah. Basements will flood. There, there's not may flood. Basements may, you know, they may leak, but no. Basements will flood. Sooner or later. 
<laughs> yeah, we've an underground guy. We built an underground garage and it did flood. <laughs> okay, well then, uh, uh, you know, this expansion, were you able to, you know, have the basement that you wanted? What would it entail? Um, Lots and lots and lots of furniture, that's for sure. And storage, <laughs> because I need storage. Storage. <laughs> Not furniture a, not, like a nice ottoman, maybe a Cleopatra chair. St. Andrew's cross here and there. <laughs> I, got you. I know that this is very off topic, but uh, the U.S. Electoral College has just confirmed Joe Biden. He's officially the next president of the United States. Fuck Sorry. yes. I, to, I, saw that. I yeah. again, I know it's greatly <laughs> off topic, but. No, I mean it's not. It's not like uh, it was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise or anything. I lost my mouth short. Oh, what a happened well, Yeah, it was over it here. was a surprise to some people. It no, was a surprise the, to the some people, people. The people that it's a surprise to, they still don't buy. They're still going. No, no, it's a lie. And we're we're going to hear it until twenty twenty four. So, did you watch so. the videos of the fake electors trying to go in? The what? No, the, um, no, no, like no, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, no, <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Back no. in my theoretical basement. <laughs> yes. Yes, continue. No. Sorry. No, I appreciate the good news. That's awesome. But yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what's your favorite cage? The heavy duty one. The heavy duty one. Why? <laughs> it's, it's heavy duty. It's, it's heavy, heavy. Because it's heavy duty? <laughs> I can... I can put pressure against the side and kick at it, and it's not going to go anywhere. Have you broken out of the cage? Yes. Not, <laughs> not the heavy duty. Not the heavy duty. How much have you tried to break out of the heavy duty? I've given it a once over. <laughs> uh, which which cage is it that you were reading in recently? Yeah, I remember that. Um, this is one in your living room, right? Well, I don't. the The heavy duty and the small one are the ones that are still set up. the The large one, the the thin metal one, is actually put up in the closet because I didn't have room for it and the the heavy duty cage in the same spot. <clears throat> so the one I can break out of yeah. and the bars of of the one that I'm locked in. I'm gonna go with the one that I can get <laughs> locked in. <laughs> um. Yeah, much to Vanta's surprise, one day I've I've gotten out of the uh, the large cage. I have a question for you. Yeah, it, it was. I, I I woke up for some reason. I woke woke out into the hallway and see her sitting next to the cage, which is still locked. And I have the key with me, basically. <laughs> it's the lock is still on. The lock was still on the cage. <laughs> I. I have a question. Did I, I, I don't know if I've ever told you how to how I got out of that. I, I I know how you did it. I know how you did it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, did. How did you get out? Um, it, it's so, safe for dogs, but not for humans. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's one of those ones that can flat pack, and you fold the sides up, and then you fold the the um, you know the the big sides, and then you fold the other two sides, and yeah. then you put them in the place. Well. You can take it, even though the door's locked, and you can unhook it and then fold it forward, and then crawl out through a big ass opening. Yeah. And that big ass opening is bigger than the door, so it's easier to get out when it's yeah partway unfolded. So I'm not gonna lie, to take uh, some strong metal locking clips. Well, just zip tie it shut, like zip tie the, the corners together, and it's good. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, for a big that night, yeah, that night I had. Um, I had to pee, and rather than wake her up, I just <laughs> and went pee and then came back and then slept, lay down on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you didn't, you didn't like, you know, try to get back in the cage to sleep in there. You're just like, fuck it, I'm getting on the couch. Just fuck it. I want to stretch my legs out. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a question. Awesome. Go on, what is your question? You kept trying to interrupt it when we were getting a fun story. This is why I tried interrupting. It's gone now. Post it then. It's not. Oh, I know. I clean forgot it. It's not Dave bad memory, but it's yeah, gets up there. Excuses. Yeah. 
Right. Well, Anything we've been else? going guts of an hour. From, yeah. What I was gonna say is, if anybody has any questions in the mm. chat, otherwise. Hmm. That's a good point. We've been pretty much ignoring the chat. That's but no, no, yeah. I haven't been ignoring the <laughs> chat. The chat. I've, I've been there. Well, the best questions came from Vanta. Vanta, have you got any more questions for Kate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what well, I actually uh, speaking of cages. Kate, did you do the thing I asked you to this weekend? Or did you forget? Yes. Friday night. Good job. Oh no, come on, you can't fucking do that. You're just like... gonna stay, I mean, we're just, are no. you just gonna leave us hanging? Yeah. Or do like, you you're gonna make us ask? Alright, ba- mini backstory. We um, we make little bets throughout the week. Don't, um, little bitty things like what, uh, what GE is drinking on the sh- Friday night stream. It's, you know, stupid stuff like that. Um, and loser has to well obviously it's a bet loser has to do certain things this weekend was or this past weekend i had to sleep in my cage friday night with accessories i'll leave it imagination Mm -hmm. (laughs) do you have an only fans with the camera set up in the cage (laughs) 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 oh cadence this has been uh, a very interesting night. Very much enjoyed. I think you scared Stephen ever so slightly. Maybe a wee bit. <laughs> Small amount. Fanta, mm-hmm. very much uh, thank you for coming on. And uh, uh, Back in your cage, Cadence. Back in your cage. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I was much. glad to be on. No, really, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I, I, and, and in all honesty, everybody should be more open. Everybody should be out there enjoying themselves, and the you know the religion that we have <laughs> followed or do follow, or whatever like that, does put boundaries on ourselves. And as we discussed earlier, you know when you come out of that, it's freeing and more thinking, and, and we need to just enjoy life and enjoy ourselves more. And, uh, I actually want to make a side point to that. Um, when it comes to things of any kind, we do speak about safe, sane, and consensual, yes. and. Thank doing you. stuff in public would break the consent of others thank you that, so that, that's actually a very good point i was into this way before 50 shades bullshit. Mm. and 50 shades did to the kink and bdsm scene what fast and furious did to the street racing scene <laughs> it really <laughs> fucked it up no no you're being too kind of 50 shades <laughs> just yeah it's just true fucking awful. 50 shades did it worse <laughs> I think Fifty Shades was was it not based on some fucking fan fiction? Fifty Shades was a Twilight fanfic. That's what it yeah. was. Twilight. Which was already shit. Uh, <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> Brainfuck has a question for Cadence. Yeah, Swingers Bars. For or for. against? As in like um like swinger couples? I'm I'm assuming that's what he means. Mm-hmm. No wait, did you say bars? With swinger yeah. bars. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen a head of swinger bars. You get swinger clubs. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I'm we'll go with the, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the context of swinger clubs. If that's the case, uh, I'd have to kind of say no because I have a bad experience with that. Um, without going into any detail, let's just say that's one reason why I'm divorced. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Kids. Now is it like? But now parties are are one thing. Um, I think it's weird, like actual clubs. I don't know. Yes. Now, my don't, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with like uh, polyamory or you know multiple multiple couples and everything like that. That's completely cool. Um, there was actually a consent issue with the swinger thing, and it completely ruined my perception of the whole thing. So I just don't even touch it. Mm. Sorry. Well, at the end of the day, uh, everything found you and led you to Fanta, and they are kinkier than you. So you've still yeah. stuff to learn, kids. <laughs> Me? Kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't get I, Vanta. I told you my Wi Fi is shit. I can't hear you. Vanta, shit. Sorry. Uh, you're not teaching. You're not. No, you're not kinkier than Cadence. She has 30, bo- 30 gags. All right. Yeah. That's why I was like, that's a no. I am super vanilla compared to Cadence. Well, I, I hope everybody has had uh, a, a good time tonight uh, enjoying both the streams. 
Uh, it was good to get everyone in for this stream. I know Dave was very much looking forward to it. Stephen again, as I say, is petrified. Uh, Vanta, <laughs> thanks for joining and uh, getting involved and stuff. And Manda, as always, thanks for joining. So uh, we have uh, Parallax Nick next Monday, 20th. Uh, big uh, astrophysics, all of that sort of thing. And uh, very much looking forward to it personally myself. Has anybody else anything that would like to shill? Critical questions tomorrow Shut night. Up. Nobody cares about critical questions. No. Well, uh, I have two videos coming out over the next couple of days. Tomorrow's one uh, coming out at quarter past three Irish time. I don't even ask me what time that is US. Quarter past three is quarter past eight Eastern. It's quarter past nine Central. Quarter past ten West Coast. There you go. <laughs> uh so tomorrow's video is going to be on toxic femininity i am going to be talking about toxic masculinity as well at the very very start of it but that's the kind of guts of it um and uh the day after so what 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 day will it be on then uh, thursday's video is going to be on the conservatives meltdown towards harry styles dressing up in the dress so um yeah those are my next couple of videos over the next couple of days that's it christmas nerd trivia wednesday night <gasps> oh, oh oh yes 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 I'm super excited for that. Thank you, Dave. Um, if you guys haven't uh, checked out Nerd Trivia yet on XCON, that's X K or um, X C O N, all capitals. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. And Cadence is there, and G E Caitlin. It's just it's a lot of fun. Plus, yeah, I I won a bunch of prizes. So <laughs> I gotta go. I I got a Dragon Ball Z character out of it. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, did it arrive? <laughs> Where'd you go? Uhan, you're now a mod, so if you want to drop the link to the quiz. Anybody else can out the one to shield while there's dead air? I do, just give me two seconds. <laughs> what on earth is she doing? I don't know. That sounded, that sounded painful. Uh, is that when's the thingy start? Where's the Star Wars thing start? Star Wars thing? No, we're gonna have to do it tomorrow because it's, it's too late tonight. Angel and I'll watch the movie tonight, but we'll have to stream tomorrow. So I got um, Superman 2, and I got um, Superman Supervillain Bizarro, and I got this cool Danger Girl comic, and then bum, 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 the whole reason I did all of it was to get this for Robbie. So. Cool. But yeah, that was all from, uh, you know, the, the nerd trivia. Yeah. Ass. And it's good fun. And it's it got a nice backing a track. I really do like the backing track. I've noticed that a couple of times. The backing track's quite good. I, I do like a wee bit of music in the background. And Uhan, yeah, good pick on that. Yeah, I think I think Uhan uh, picks all of that out. So that's, that's, that's Uhan. Uhan's just all around awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's just generally nice to even listen to, you know, even when man despite in Star Wars shit in the chat and there's nobody else talking but her screaming. Well, you know, the nice bit of background music's good. Like. Yeah, but, you know, talking about our, uh, our adoptions from GE, we have Uhan as well, who's in the chat and uh, we adore, so. But uh, can I nice chill now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I guess that, that means... Um, so tomorrow at five something uh, in the afternoon uh, on Atheist Pastor's channel, and we're talking about climate change. And then later on, Angel and I will do our uh, episode one stream. It's going to be midnight Friday. UK, whatever that works out for you. Okay, that's that's seven seven p.m. There you go. Um, <laughs> and then Friday at two thirty Eastern. Uh, I have Creaky Blinder on, and then Sunday, um, we have our Secular Sunday Service episode um, with, so far, we have uh, Dark Matter and GE, um, and maybe Dave, maybe? Probably not, because it's at yes. eight, but hopefully. Probably Dave. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And, um, and uh, we'll be talking about um, the war on Christmas and the Christian victim mentality. So that's, that's good. We're winning. And then after that, um, I'm, uh, Chris Sheldon was coming back, and so we can 
make up Princess Dream Phoenix last night. So, talking about his book. So another open hangout. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's never, literally, never happened to him before. He was, he was mortified, and he was so worried I wasn't going to be friends with him anymore. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, shit happens. It's okay. This is very sweet. So, yeah, that's, that's it, I guess. Fanta, are you going to be involved in any uh, of uh, Cadence's streams? Oh, I do not know. Do, uh, how do you find honestly, her curiosities? I, I, are, are you interested in them? Do you find it or just that's her thing? Or do you have a general interest in it as well? In her curiosities, I do have a general interest in them. It's really fun to see what she shares and being able to come there at times to take a closer look. Uh, sadly, due to work, I missed that part of the stream today. But uh, I'll have to watch it on playback. You should, you know, you should wait till she does the video. And then edits and does a wee thing and shows all this and then sends it to you and you do a, a voiceover <laughs> and give your commentary and it's like oh look at her doing this here oh isn't this funny yeah she's <laughs> thinking this right now isn't she mad <laughs> <laughs> well that's a given vanta also has one advantage over everybody she sees stuff as they arrive at my door <laughs> so she's practically seen everything in my collection one piece at a time <laughs> yeah <laughs> intimately Intimately. <laughs> the, the thing is, though, my memory is terrible. For that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's always fun to see it again. Did Steven it's just hear God? What? No, no, I was, <laughs> I was like, did you just hear God? Because you sort of looked up and went. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Don't uh, worry. Right. <laughs> On that there, uh, the curiosity spelling of both the thumbnails and the titles is correct as of today. And it may change. We don't know yet. It's an ongoing battle. Uh, other than that, again, all of the thanks for everybody and all the rest. But this was a lot of fun. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, maybe do it again sometime. On OnlyFans. Totally different scene then. Stephen won't join. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. Right. Yeah. Uh, we'll be around I, for that one. Yeah, we've done all the bits and the bobs and all the rest of it. So the shills and the likes and the hit the subs. And I'm so close to the thousand. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. You don't even have to come back and watch. Just fucking hit the subscribe button. And then get your sock and hit it subscribe button as well. I'm like fucking 76 from a thousand. I'm doing this two fucking years. And I'm not a bad lad. You know? Hit the button. Hit the button. Right. On that, we will oink. We will out. See you all later. Meow.